Welcome back to Low Tech Word. I'm now going to show you a short comparison between the Nokia 920 and the Lumia 800 in terms of performance. So just keep in mind that this one doesn't have a SIM card, so I'm using the internet sharing feature on the 920 to have some data connection on the 800. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch some games and see which one is faster, but you obviously know what's going to happen here. So as you can see, the 920 was faster, the 800 is fast too, so you ain't, you know, you ain't losing much here. So let's go back and start another game. So let's try Plants vs. Zombies. So as you can see, the Lumia 920 is ahead. And it has finished. Still waiting for the 800. There you go. So as you can see, the performance is greatly improved in terms of application load times. So let's try something else. But once again, this may be dependent on the highly dependent on the um, connection. So this one has finished loading, there you go. Performance is the same on both handsets because this one was already running at 16 frames per second. So here we go, let's try something else. For example, another game. Let's try Jet Cars, Stunts. Once again, this one was faster, so I'm going to show you something, oh, actually try to show you something which may not be visible in this video, but I'm going to take some picture and post them on the website to really show you what's happening here, but the first thing I noticed when I launched this game on the 920 was that there is no more color banding compared to the 800. So this is not really visible right here, so let's try to look here. As you can see, there's no more color banding, as if everything was being rendered in 32-bit compared to 16-bit on the 800 or all the, actually all the Windows Phone 7.5 devices. So let's try to look edit here. Not sure I can focus or show you exactly the difference, so I'm going to take some pictures later on. But yeah, there's no more banding here, and this is also the case in many other games, 3D games, which are currently available on the marketplace. Here we have a lot of banding, if I get to, to focus on it, sorry, here we go. There's a lot of banding here, which is no longer the case on the Windows Phone 8 device. So, once again, performance is better, at appli especially application load times, uh, but you shouldn't be disappointed because essentially the user experience is the same besides the new star screen, which you are going to have on this one when Windows Phone 7.8 is pushed out in early 2013. You essentially have the same user experience, same features. Yes, you have some added features here, but you know nothing really groundbreaking. Uh, the main advantage of Windows Phone 8 is, you know, the dual core plus, you know, support uh, through the new uh, Windows 8 kernel. But other than that, you know, it's really a hardware thing. If you want a really great device with a u unique uh, camera, this is the one to get right now. And if you want support, this is the one to get right now because, you know, this is actually finished. You know, you're going to have some support for Windows 7.8 or maybe Windows Phone 7.9, but you know, the future is Windows Phone 8 right now. So, this was a quick tour. I'm not going to show you browser performance because, as I said, this one is getting its connection from 
this one so you know I'm not going to to show you that this one is obviously faster right now so if you want to see something else just ping me up on Twitter or send me an email and I'm going to make some more uh, videos so this was a quick look at the performance on both handsets um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm going to post some more videos if you have any questions just post your comments or send me an email tweet or whatever and uh, thanks for watching